hi hello good morning so today see let us see a new topic uh, that is involute with an equilateral triangle as the dimension of its side with 20 mm right so first of all what we should do so let us see the different construction procedures so first of all you should draw a triangle with 20 mm side okay this is a triangle and you name this triangle as one two and this one last big okay and next draw a line of the base that is out of the string that is the length of the string that is unbounded from the geometrical shape that is triangle with the length of 3 into side 3 into side nothing but the perimeter of the triangle so from let us take this is point p p to 1 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 so what is the side of a triangle 20 so 20 plus 20 plus 20 the total length of this one should be 60 then after that the total length of this one is going to divide it into three equal parts because we have three sides such that this length of this line is going to divide into three equal parts so now this is the point p okay p dash let us take a original point where it is going to start right then next this is the first point and this is the second point and this is the last point p okay now name this one as one two and p so now with the respective points we have to draw the locus of the positions for that we have to draw the tangent for this side this is the first tangent and you have to draw a tangent for this side that is this one and right like after drawing the tangents and what we have to do so now you can see here we have to unwinding the rope or a wire and it is going to come like this right okay now you simply take this distance p to 1 as a distance listen clearly p to 1 as a radius 1 as a center you make a mark on this point okay like this this is the point so this distance and this one is nothing but equal to p1 p1 as a distance 1 as a center, sorry, P, 1 as a radius, 1 as a center, you make a mark here. Next, P, 2 as a radius, 2 as a center, you make a mark here. This is a point, right? So, after getting these points, draw the freehand curve starting from P to this point, okay, from this to this point and this point to the last point okay so right this is how the construction procedure of the involute for a regular triangle or we can call it as the equilateral triangle so now how to draw the tangent in normal so first of all you fix a center of the triangle so this is the center of the triangle after that making the center of a triangle take any point on the curve okay i'm going to take the point on the curve here okay from this point to this point you draw a line join these two points and create a midpoint of this particular length and you or i doesn't know what is the length of this one by using the line division method or uh, line bisector you can divide this one into two parts this is a midpoint of this particular line after taking this midpoint you draw a semicircle from this particular center after where the semicircle cuts the geometrical shape this is a geometrical shape this is the point where the semicircle cuts so this is a point so from this point join a line passing through the point which is taken on the curve he is nothing but the normal and perpendicular to the normal he is tangent so this is how to construct the involute for an equilateral triangle construction of uh, involute and tangent and normal from this video, right practice well and to get and all the different shapes will also be the construction in the same manner so either it may be a square it may be a pentagon it may be an hexagon whatever it is whatever the sides are there you have to take the perimeter of that one and divide the perimeter into the same equal number of divisions of that side of this polygon and the procedure should be followed in the same manner if you are having any doubts please 
uh, put me a uh, message in the comment box so that I will reply. Please like it and share it to others too for the benefit of your friends. Thank you very much.